Hey guys, it's Carlos. Um, today I'm working on this Mercedes CLS 500. It has a bad alternator, which is down there. Um, also has an oil leak, as you guys can tell. We're going to change this alternator and look for the oil leak and uh, see where that's coming from, see if we can get that fixed as well today. Um, so stay tuned. I'll give you guys an update. First thing we're going to do is, I guess, remove all this stuff. And it just pops off. Little lesson is uh, make sure you uh, undo the battery. That way, uh, when you take off these cables of the alternator, nothing sparks or goes crazy. First thing I'm going to do is take this belt off and uh, give you guys an update. So I have removed the belt belt is off and it is quite an oily mess down there which might be the reason the alternator went out with that being said the socket to take the top bolt out is a E14 it's like an inverted Torx there's one here and there's going to be one right behind this hose and uh, let me get that going I'll show you guys what's going on Alright guys, so the alternator is still in there, and I got the two bolts that hold it down. That's these two little guys. Uh, top one wasn't too bad, but the bottom one, way more work than I thought it was going to be, and it took me a little bit longer than it was supposed to. So for your sake, you'll probably get to see this part, but it's out. The bolts are out. Uh, the alternator still in. I'm going to... Uh, probably use a screwdriver or pry bar whatever I can find in my garage to get that out and uh, get the cables off the back of it so let me wiggle it out of place and I'll give you guys an update there right, guys so I got it pried and facing down to where I can show you guys all the bolts and stuff um, I used the pry bar I just kind of wedged it in here and Pried against, went to the bottom and pried against the, the block and uh, finagled it facing down. This is the old one in this box. Uh, part number 13953. Seems to be it. Does not come with the pulley apparently, so we're going to need to get the pulley swapped out. Also, the back will have it kind of facing down. Pretty much the same thing. Positive, negative, and uh, your sensor wire. So stay tuned. Let me get those taken off. All right, guys. So I got it out, and let me tell you, that is a very tight fit. It took me about an hour to get it out. You got to get it just right. Um, so this is the pull that came off of it. So I got that nut off. There it is on the new one. Here's the old nut. I'd rather use the old nut than the new nut. Just uh, preference. This one's a little bit slightly bigger and I don't think it'd fit in there as well. Plus, it's a lock nut. It should still be good. Let me give you an update once I get it in. Alright guys, so got it back on. Have the belt back on. Um, I know I didn't walk you guys through the process, but it's pretty much the reverse process as how I took it off. Still has an oil leak. Well, maybe, maybe not. I found that the uh, old serpentine belt was wedged. I don't know if you can see it down here. The old serpentine belt was wedged in this clamp, which was making that clamp. It's one of those old school compression clamps. It was keeping it from sealing tight. You know, serpentine came off, wedged in there. I believe that's what causing the oil leak. It comes from this, I believe, this cartridge. Yeah. So it's the cartridge. It comes down here. It's got a little connecting hose, and it's got another little connecting hose under that. Let 
Well, I got the rest of the hose off. I'm pretty sure that's going to take care of that, so we'll have to see what happens. So stay tuned, see what happens. Also, um, this coolant hose down here, I don't know if you can see it, it had a coolant leak. What I did is I uh, removed the old compression clamp and I uh, just moved it down and put a regular screw type clamp on it. So hopefully that'll take care of that. Like I said, it's a beautiful car. Um, just need a little bit of maintenance going on. Um, hopefully that'll take care of it. Next step is possibly maybe take it to the car wash and wash it for him. Um, not sure yet, but we'll see what happens. All right, so <clears throat> washed up half ass. Um, the soap that I've used for years it just it never gets any better. It's just the worst soap ever. Uh, only the stuff, the industrial stuff, you get at a shop actually works very good but this fast orange stuff just it's horrible uh, this is a mercedes it's got the uh beautiful you know key fob um as you can see i disconnected the battery therefore there's no trunk so easy way to get to that is this is little slot right here you slide that back this pops out with that being said, that will slide in, I believe, right here. Turn that, unlocks it. He's here, opens your trunk. It's a little bit better look. So, uh, that's a little simple trick I've learned. Um, just in case some people get panicked out. So, so this just slides back in locks good to go so i'm gonna reconnect the battery now and uh give you guys an update all right guys so uh the, the uh, battery's hooked back on and uh i'm going to uh try and start it see what happens so um Check the coolant, just find a little bit of coolant right there. Um, everything seems to be running smoothly. So there's that. Um, hopefully the oil leak is fixed now. And the coolant leak as well. Um, just trying to help a friend out. Let me start by telling you that alternator was not easy to change. If you don't really know what you're doing, I wouldn't really uh, recommend starting with it because it looked easy in the video but getting it out from in there took some work so I've been out here about four hours changing this alternator out uh, first time never done it also I took a few breaks here in between to uh, do a little bit of research on what I was doing so yeah if you have any questions just let me know Thanks for watching this video. If you like anything, you know, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, let us know what we're doing right. Let us know what we're doing wrong. Um, let us know if there would be anything you want us to do. Um, we'll try and do our best to oblige and uh, keep you guys uh, interested in our videos. Thanks.